A study of modern-day secular non-biblical prophets, occultists, astrologers, prognosticators, etc. revealed that their prophetic predictions were not even 10% accurate. Yet, they have great followings. Why? They tickle the ears with intrigue. Even if the Bible was not 100% prophetically accurate, it still would be much more precise than any other prophetic source. Yet unwise persons tend to be conveniently skeptical and play the long shot on the wrong side of eternity. Over 20 years ago, it became very obvious to me, the intellectual source of biblical scripture has to be supernatural, definitely more intelligent and powerful than we are only asking us to do good. Considering the stakes are so high, eternal pleasure versus eternal discomfort, it would be extremely foolish not to comply. Most societies bring up their children with moral standards similar to the Bible, but presume the standards change when they become adults. Young people observe their elders' hypocrisies and adapt or adopt or rebel, each generation becoming worse producing destruction unless there is revival. Elders are perplexed at youth conduct worse than theirs, yet they decline from God's precepts. Proof on Judgment Day they can comprehend more and choose not to. The biblical author declares one moral standard for all, young and old, for we are all his children. In concluding, let us consider one final prophecy the final chapter of the last book of the Old Testament, which is followed by 400 years of prophetic silence to distance the Old Testament prophetic writings from their New Testament prophetic fulfillments. The all-knowing God being fully aware of the foolish, presumptuous, prejudicial, and even corrupt debates and disputes that would follow. God through Malachi chapter 4, approximately 432 years B.C., for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness, Jesus, arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves in the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet, in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb, for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet, John the Baptist, in the spirit of Elijah, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Time to wake up. It is happening. So, will thinking the check is good stop it from bouncing? God has, is, and will with all his power, without violating our free will, because he did not make us machines, encourage us through our conscience to make the appropriate reality choices in this life so that our perception of reality agrees enough with him who is never wrong so that when we get to the bank teller in heaven our reality check to enter will be good believe it or not god through the bible says there is a satan who has is and will do everything in his power to discourage us through our conscience from believing this reality and influence us to use our free will to make the wrong choices in this life so that when we get to the bank teller in heaven, our check will bounce all the way down to hell where we will believe forever after it is too late. Conclusion Understanding rational versus irrational reasoning, dialogue and behavior is achievable to the degree we comprehend and respond appropriately to this fact. Logistical, scientific-based reality determines there is an absolute universal moral foundation, intelligently designed for intelligent beings by an intelligent creator. Thus we should behave accordingly. As a plea of ignorance will return a guilty verdict 
in an earthly court, so it is in heaven. Finally, if my honest logistical perception of reality be clear, thus I correctly conclude beyond a reasonable doubt, contrary to opposing considerations of far less reasonable significance, that the Bible must be true, thus there must be one God, consequently the Bible, be informed before leaving earth, is his instruction manual to us, when all else fails, read the instructions, his loving instructions, not dictatorial, but best for all concerned and selfless, wisely portrayed in his accurate account of history and his unfailing prophetic declarations of the future, facilitating efficient assimilation of his good loving values by incorporating them into true intriguing events depicting the consequences of individual and communal wise and unwise choices then. What is my next consideration? Why do bad things happen? What about science or evolution contradicting the Bible? What Bible should I read? Or more proof? <laughs>